Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. This is just going to be a real quick video, guys. I just did a video uh, showing you this, the aluminum tail belt guide uh, for the Saab Goblin 380. And uh, now I'm just going to show you uh, how it was installed. Just give you a quick little tip. And uh, that's about it. So this was the little manual I showed you before. Okay. Now, one tip this one right here okay on this side which is this one here okay to get that to line up properly because I didn't look at it closely and I was trying to do it too quick and I put this piece on this side so what happened was the belt wasn't completely lined up like it is now right there in the middle and I said, oh, what the heck, you know, maybe I got to put a shim in there or anything. And then I took a closer look at it, and, uh, you know, Saab, their manuals are good, and they don't make mistakes, but old Nitro Kyosho trying to work too quick could. <laughs> and you could too. So that's just a little tip on this one, guys. Look out for that. Make sure you put it on this side of the bearing, not inside, because then you'll lose a little bit, and the belt won't line up perfect on there. Okay, so there it is on that side installed. Uh, now for anyone that wants to ask or know, you don't have to remove anything, guys, to do this. You can do it without, I mean, you do have to loosen your belt. They tell you to, to loosen that up. Okay, but other than that, let me swing this thing around. Sorry about that, guys. Get to the other side here. And there's the other belt tensioner. Uh, and this one is a little bit trickier to get in just because it has the spring and everything. It basically still goes in fairly simple like the other side, guys. You know, there's one screw on top, both sides that hold it in. Uh, but this one was just, you know, fitting it in there. If you got small fingers, you're probably better off. <laughs> Uh, but you can get it in there without having to take anything apart. It just takes a little patience, and you want to make sure the spring doesn't pop off uh, while you're doing it. But I spun the blades, and it definitely sounds a little smoother and a little quieter. So I'm looking forward to taking this thing uh, for a flight, guys. And uh, I'll let you know how that goes over the weekend. But once again, uh, the little sheet here that comes with it. Uh, use your green Loctite uh, for your bearings and, uh, and then the blue Loctite medium strength obviously for the screws. Uh, but fairly simple and like I said the nice thing is if your goblins all assembled you don't have to take the main pulley or the anything out. I mean if, if you really got big, fi big fingers and you can't you know maneuver uh, you might want to loosen you know maybe up your these two screws and you could lower down your uh, the rudder, or if you got to do it, uh, put some grease in your one-way bearing there, you could, you know, pop that off too. Uh, but I was able to do it without doing any of that, so you should be able to too. And uh, thanks again uh, to Long Vu and Healy Direct uh, for this product. And uh, hopefully we won't have no more of that crackling sound. Thanks for watching, guys.